Hi everybody, I'm going to be showing you this new game that I made. It's my first game ever. It's pretty rough. It's basically just a little game where you walk around and hopefully in future versions you'll be able to interact with more stuff. I have some ba very basic interactions going on right now. It's just you're walking around in this little town next to the ocean uh, based off what a little town in Japan might look like. So you just walk around. I've got the movement set up. You can go into a building. Walk around. There's the sprite that I used. I made it myself. I made all the art myself. My main goal for this game was you'd be able to go into the restaurant. You'd be able to sit down at one of the booths and you could order some food. I think I made it because I was hungry for Japanese food for some reason. Instead, um, so this is a 2D game. Instead of using a tile map in Godot, I have just used a very large PNG image for the background, and then I've set up collisions. So like, they're not perfect, but see, you can't go really go further than that. One of the problems, or one of the issues I've come up with so far is that, so see this car? The collision's not perfect, but it is there, so I just need to move it down. But then the issue is if you were to go around it, see, it looks like you're walking on top of it. Now, I know the solution to this is to use the Y sort, and um, I'd have to export just this car PNG as a separate sprite to put it on top. And I would have to do that for all of these objects that I have in my scene. So I'll just show you the one last thing. We'll go into the Mart. And this is what I've worked on the most, I guess. Um, so I have all of these props, all of these counters and stuff set up as separate sprites, and they're in the Y sort node. So you can walk behind them, come around, walk in front of them, like this. And then when you get over to the drink cases, these options appear. So I have like juice, soda. You come over here, there's bento and sandwiches and such. And then when you walk away, they disappear. And so in future versions, um, I want to be able to have some sort of inventory, I guess, some sort of small economy, which is way outside my knowledge as of now. I am not a computer person who understands computer languages at all. Um, I have got most of my code Frankenstein from various YouTube videos and such, and I've kind of put it together done a lot of troubleshooting. I know a lot more than I did before, of course, but there's a long way to go because I still don't really understand how uh, the Godot language works. But I hope to improve my ability and I really want to make a, a larger game that's more interactive with uh, NPCs, people you can talk to, maybe some sort of mission, I don't know. Um, if you want to see the game's code and or just like take a look at the game just the good O file for the game, just send me like a message or a comment and I, we can figure out how to, how I can send it to you. And then you can look at it because I would uh, appreciate input on this and ways that I can improve my uh, game making ability. One thing that I like is I made it so the person follows the mouse and to move forward, you have to press W, but then he follows the mouse in whatever direction it goes. The character has, the sprite has eight directions on it, which I made myself, which took a while. Which I'm, so I'm kind of proud of that. Because it looks all right. Looks decent. All right, so yeah, if you just have any comments or anything, just please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.